Hello, my name is Artyom Bisyarin. I'm from Kyiv, Ukraine. This lesson is for week 6 of Introduction to Music Production at Coursera.org and it's about the usage of the oscillator, filter, amplifier, envelope and LFO in the synthesizer. I'm going to use Prolog, which comes with Cubase 5 as an example of a synthesizer. The top half of the interface of this synth is devoted to oscillators. We have three oscillators here, but we are going to use only one, the first one, which is on the left. The oscillator generates a basic wave used in the whole synthesis process later. So we can choose a sine wave, or a square wave, A sawtooth wave, for example. So that's the oscillator's job to create a sound for all the other models of a synthesizer. After an oscillator has generated a sound, then a filter begins working. With a filter, you can attenuate or remove parcels you think you don't need in your sound from a basic wave generated by an oscillator. That's why, by the way, the type of a synthesis we are talking about is called subtractive, because the filter subtracts unneeded overtones from a basic wave type. The filter section is in the center of the window. Here we can choose a type of the filter and to set the cutoff frequency. Before creating this video, I chose a low pass filter uh, and set the cutoff frequency to 20,000 Hz for you to, he to hear all partials of the waves generated by the oscillator. This settings passes all sound that a human being can hear because a low pass filter passes all frequencies below the cutoff frequency and the cutoff frequency here is 20,000 Hz as I said before. So let's try to change the cutoff frequency. As you hear, the timbre of the sound is changing. After filtering, a sound goes to the amplifier. We can see the amplifier section here, where it's possible to adjust the master volume and panning. But what is really important, you can adjust amplitude characteristics of a sound using an envelope. You can see envelopes here, at the bottom of the window. Envelopes are not only for controlling volume. In this synthesizer, you can use them to control other different parameters of a sound. But let's start with the volume at first. As you see, the modulation destination is set to volume here. Uh, so we can adjust the attack decay, release and sustain parameters using these sliders. Like this, for example. And also you can control different parameters of a sound using low frequency oscillation. We have the LFO section under this tab where we can find two independent low frequency oscillators. Let's try to modulate the pitch of the sound using one of them. We are choosing the pitch of the first oscillator as a modulation destination for this LFO. Then we can pick a type of this slowly moving wave and adjust depth and speed of the modulation. You can hear the results now. So we have seen three main sections of the synthesizer, oscillator, filter and amplifier, and two models, envelope and LFO, with help of which you can change parameters of the oscillator, filter and amplifier. Thanks for watching, it was a big pleasure for me to study during all these six weeks with you guys. 
बाय बाय